look at this bearded dragon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to see it because I paid for it. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog and welcome to another beautiful day. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. And guess what? I'm holding a package in a new ambassador for the zoo. The whole crew is pretty excited about this one. And they actually came to me and said, we need to have a really cool bearded dragon, not just Fetty Wap. Obviously, Fetty Wap is amazing, but we wanted to get something really special. So uh, that is what is going on. And it actually came from a place called Kids and Dragons. Oh God, I should never open a box that way. I'll be honest with you, I can't even quite remember what the animal looked like. I just remember Mary showing me and I going, oh my God, that is absolutely beautiful. So uh, let's see what we got here. Oh my, holy moly. You guys are gonna freak out. Okay, you guys, you guys turn away, turn away. You can't see, you can't see. Oh my God, they are gonna freak out when they get a chance to see this. Oh, dog it, oh my, don't you look, don't you look. I saw you're sneaking a peek over there. Oh my gosh, this thing is on fire. Okay, take a look at that right there. No, you guys can't look. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tease them for a little while. Look at this bearded dragon. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to ask Mary what the actual genetics behind this. I think it was like a hypo trans leatherback, but just obviously an unbelievable colored one. Uh, I am super excited. Again, we love Fetty Wap. He is absolutely amazing, but we figure we'll have another one that's really highly colored that people are like, oh my god, and we can take this one out. So thank you, kids and dragon. This thing is unbelievable. Okay, guys, you can look now. So bright. That's, dude, that's not real. That's <laughs> not real. What? <laughs> Holy that's crap, beautiful. what is the color wash off? Is that real? <laughs> that's, that thing is, that's got color oh dye in it. Oh my god, sure. I hear Oh, you. Mary's, Mary. I see Mary. <laughs> dude, <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Mary's been coming up like every three oh minutes. When you opening? When you opening it? Oh, it's beautiful. It's just what I expected. That dude, that thing's. Ridiculous. It's like a hot flaming hot Cheeto. Try to eat it. See if it's hot. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> Dude, oh, that thing so is cute. nuts. Look at the oh, color on that so thing. Oh, is, this, is this a hypo trans leatherback? Is that what this no, is? No, he's just a hypo trans. Just a hypo yeah. trans no wow. leatherback. Oh my gosh, that thing is ridiculous. Crazy, oh, huh? Look How do they the do eyes. that? Are they just eyes? Yeah. yeah. The eyes are jet black. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and Mary's the one that found this for me. She is like, oh, you got to get this. And uh, do we know if it's a boy or girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Okay, so we got a boy. So, Sweet. Oh my gosh. What are oh we going to call it? Gosh. Rowan or Jasper. What is it? Rowan or Jasper? Yeah. Rowan no. or Jasper. What? Yeah. Flaming Hot Cheeto. <laughs> Flaming Hot Cheeto. Cheeto. We got to call him Cheeto. Come Cheeto. on. We got to go. Okay, Cheeto. let me know in the comments. Do we want Rowan, Jasper, or Cheeto? Cheeto. <laughs> I think Cheeto is a good name. Yeah, I I where's the Rowan and Jasper Cheeto. come from? They have like, it means like red. Oh, so. I see. Boring. I gotcha. Yeah. Well. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> He's chunky. Oh my God. So oh, isn't that can't amazing? stop looking at him. He's so No, great. I know. And it's nice oh that he's like well started because yeah. some of these bearded dragons you get there this they're big. They're too tiny. Yeah. What do you worry about oh, them? Look at that. Oh my God. Look how red so his good. cheeks are. Oh my oh. God. Wow. wow. That's that trans. The trans, you can actually yeah. see that purple coming through. Wow. 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 Well, I tell you what, guys. You did an amazing job producing a crazy good animal. We'll put a link in the description. Description. If you guys want a bearded dragon like this from Kids and Dragon, we'll put their link in the description. Unbelievably happy, wow. crazy. I'm gonna set this guy up. So this is the cage that I think we're gonna put uh, Cheeto. I, uh, I decided I'm gonna probably go with Cheeto, but again, let me know in the comments if you think Cheeto is a good name for this. We're gonna go ahead and put him in this one because I think it's really good that he'll have an area right here where he can go up and get really close to the basking light where it's gonna be about 110 degrees. He can also go on these ledges here, these ledges here, over here, and even get a cool side and a little bit of a hiding spot over here. We'll probably throw a couple more branches so that he can climb a little bit more because bearded dragons do like to kind of be up elevated and stuff like that. In Australia, a lot of times you'll find him like on top of fence posts and stuff like that. Uh, we'll obviously get a water bowl in here. We'll get him all set up. But for now, I think that Cheeto is going to really love this new <laughs> environment. I could not be more happy. This thing is absolutely incredible. And the thing is, is as these get older, they actually even get better because translucents actually are kind of translucent skin. That's why they call them translucent. And as they get bigger, the skin actually becomes a little less translucent, meaning that the color actually comes out so they get better with age. But holy cow, Cheeto is amazing. We're still trying to get Toothless to eat. We've tried just about everything. 
See if you eat this. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on, buddy. Do you want it? Wanna try it? It's so stressful. I mean, you know, he seems to be doing good. We're soaking him every day. He's hydrated, acting good, good tongue response, good everything. But he just has not eaten. We throw crickets in, he seems interested. We throw roaches in, he seems interested. Put ground turkey, he seems interested, but he just hasn't taken anything yet. So, okay, we're gonna keep on trying. You know, fingers crossed. Gonna get some of the crew's reaction to the marshmallow video. And are you guys ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> marshmallow it is. Searching for rare specimen. Maybe we could use some help from our special guest today, Brian Barchett. Have you guys ever seen this before? No, I... You don't know who Marshmallow is? No. no you don't know no. who Marshmallow is? I, no, I don't want to be offensive or nothing, but no, I've never... We'll need to... What so you literally heck? didn't know who Marshmallow is? No. no. Like, he's only like the most famous DJ on the planet. He's got 21 oh. million subscribers. <laughs> These guys are so lame. I mean, guys, it's marshmallow for guys' sakes. Lori's back and she's excited to see the new bearded dragon because she told me pretty emphatically, yeah, I want to see it because... I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> she paid for it. I want to show you this. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. What do you think? Oh, wow. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that is cool. Let's see. Guess what his name is. What? What did you think we should call him? I don't know. Well, I'm actually, I was actually asking them to comment, but uh, Eric came up with a name that I like. If you guys like it, I think we're going to go with it, and it's going to be Cheeto. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it does look like a Cheeto, doesn't it? No, it is Cheeto orange. I'll give you that. Leave it to Eric to think of a food. I was thinking like Big Red, but, <laughs> but Cheeto works too. Yeah, he said it looks like a flaming hot uh, Cheeto. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. The kids would like that. Yeah. A lot of people have asked me like how we're going to clean the kind of rough edges, you know, all these crevices in the cage and stuff like that. And we actually use this thing, it's called a Tornado, and it's actually, it almost looks like a spray paint gun, and it's hooked up to an air compressor. But if you see right in the end there, there's a little straw in there that actually spins around really quick when blown with air. And then we can put actually like an F10 or a Quatricide type solution in here mixed with water that disinfects cage as well. And basically what you do is if you have a crevice like this, you just go in And you go like that and it actually gets right deep down in the crevice and you can increase the amount of solution you want if you want to keep it really dry and not a lot of wet or you can move that valve and you can literally make it a lot of solution so if you have something really deep cleaning it works out really well for this gator tank that we have to clean before we start putting water in it And the thing that's really cool is that this whole thing is like a hundred bucks or something like that. So it works out really well. As a matter of fact, we're going to go around and do all the surfaces of these because they do have a little bit of dust on it just from the whole manufacturing process, the shipping process and everything. So when we first open, whenever you would like kind of touch this, you would get kind of really dirty. So we're going to go through and just kind of walk all the sides right here. All that And again, what it does is it not only blows air, it also blows the solution and that little tornado thing in there actually cleans it off. You can see on the inside how dirty it gets just from that little bit. So this thing really, really works. And they use this actually for car detailing. So for those of you that wondered how we're cleaning cages, this is how we're doing it. All right guys, so my dad is out at a meeting right now. So me and Andrea have to take over and film some feeding. We're gonna get right into it and give you some uh, nice action shots here. So let's just go. There we go, <laughs> nice. Sunrise, another big hit here at the Reptarium. All the kids love to hold her, so she, obviously she was hungry after all that work she does on the weekends. Her teeth is up next. Uh, she's going inside, so she might not take it, but we're still gonna try. Let's let's see if she's gonna eat. Best strike we've seen all day. 
I'm gonna wrap it up here at the Reptarium over at BHB and I'm gonna head downtown with Noah and we're gonna head to a Pistons basketball game. I'm not a huge basketball fan, I think it's all right, and I'm not really even a huge sports fan. I think it's cool, but Noah's into it. We're gonna have a good time, let's hit the road. We are in Detroit, Noah is freezing cold. I'm not freezing, it's just cold. It's a little cold, but here, here's the arena we're going to right now. Let's go, man. Basketball Honestly, game. Honestly, guys, I'm rooting for the Pistons, but at the same time, we just came for the 76ers. Noah Splurge on us got us the club seat, so uh... You told me to, but honestly it was the same price. It was honestly cheaper than going anywhere else, so it was good. So it's literally like all the food you can eat, drinks, everything. Look at the spread over here, man. This is nice, Noah. Good job, good job. What are we gonna get? Hot dog, got the pizza, got roast beef or something? Oh my god. We're here for the pizza. We're here for the food. I came here for the food and a basketball game broke out. That was amazing. Pistons overtime win by one. Oh, Lake Drop 50, that was awesome. Back home and I really did need a night out just with Noah and myself, we had a great time. It was a great game, overtime win for our Detroit Pistons. And with that said, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below and let me know what you like, dislike, tell me something awesome about yourself and do me a couple other favors while you're down there. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Make sure to be kind to someone today and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.